in the previous videos, we derived、uh, the import demand on homes market and export supply on foreigns market, and then、uh, we put these two together and find the equilibrium on the global market, right? And now、um, we're going to add the tariff、um, to our analysis. Okay, because remember we talk about all of these because we want to、uh, figure out the influence of、uh, a tariff. Okay.、Uh, all right. So here,、uh, let's look at the effects of the tariff.、Uh, a tariff acts like a shipping cost. Making the sellers unwilling to ship goods unless the home price exceeds the foreign price by the amount of the tariff. Okay.、Uh, mathematically, this can be written like this. So P T P、um, subscript T means、uh, the price in home after the tariff being imposed. Okay. In no case, letter T、uh, stands for the tariff rate. Okay, so of course here,、uh, the tariff is imposed、uh, based upon the、um, the the price. Okay, or affects the price. And then、um, P subscribe T star means the price、uh, in foreign after the tariff being imposed. Okay, so as you can see, that PT, the price in home, is going to be higher than that in foreign, and the difference between these two prices would be the tariff rate. Okay.、Uh, in other words, previously we said that you know when the two economies、uh, trade with each other, then they are basically connected. They become One market, which is a global market, right? And、um, because there's only one market, then there would be only one equilibrium price, which is P W. If you still remember, W stands for world, right? So it's a world price. And now、uh, you find that because of the tariff, then we see two different prices: one in home, the other in foreign. Okay, and the difference would be the tariff rate. Okay.、Uh, once again, if suppose you know the tariff is one dollar, let's see. Okay, and then、uh, you would find that the,、uh, the home price is going to be one dollar higher than that in foreign. Okay. Now, how do producers and consumers respond、uh, to the tariff? Okay. So here, I strongly encourage you guys to pause the video. And think about these. Okay. Now, here when we talk about the producers, consumers,、uh, how they're gonna respond to this implementation of the tariff in home,、uh, you have to talk about homes producers, homes consumers, foreign producers, foreign consumers. So four group of people. Okay. How they respond differently to the tariff. All right. Please. Go ahead and pause the video, and see if you can find the answers、uh, by yourself. All right. So here, let's talk about it. Again, we will we will start with the、uh, the discussion,、um, you know, about the price. Okay. So remember, we already said that because of the tariff,、uh, the price in home would go up, right? That means for the domestic producers in home. Produce production becomes more profitable, right? For a given production cost with a higher price, of course, the profit margin is getting larger, right? So, to make more money, producers in home would like to produce more, right? And the consumers in home find, you know, this product、uh, being more expensive. So they will reduce their demand. Okay. So the first,、uh, what happened,、uh, or what will happen in Hong is the producers supply more and consumers spend less. 
So the quantity of imports falls, which is pretty straightforward, right? Because remember, previously we already derived that the import demand in home equals the quantity demanded by consumers minus quantity supplied by producers, right? Now, the quantity demanded goes down, quantity supplied goes up. Of course, that gap, it's so-called the import demand, becomes smaller. Okay, so they will import less. Now, in foreign, uh, similarly, um, the price goes down because of the tariff, right? So that means uh, their producers would find the production become less profitable. So they're going to reduce their quantity supplied, right? But their consumers find it's cheaper now to buy it. So they're going to increase their quantity demanded, okay? So the foreign producers supply less and foreign consumers demand more. So that quantity of exports falls. Remember, in foreign, um, its supply uh, exceeds its demand, right? Um, so the, you know, the export supply equals the quantity supplied minus quantity demanded. Now, quantity supplied decreases, quantity demand increases. Again, the gap becomes smaller. So foreign will export less uh, to home. Okay. Now remember here our analysis. In our analysis, the key is the change in price, right? And we said that you know the the price in home goes up, the price in foreign goes down. That leads to all of these responses from uh, producers and consumers, right? Now here I'm going to raise a question for you guys to think about. Okay. Why would the tariff affect both market in home and foreign? In other words, is it possible for the tariff imposed by the government in home only affects the home's market? Let's say it doesn't have any influence upon the foreign producers or consumers. Is that possible? Okay. If your answer is positive, yes, it is possible. Then under what circumstances it is possible? If you're going to say no, it's not possible at all, then why? Okay, Bring your thoughts to uh, our class and we're going to discuss that. Okay, All right, now, uh, once we already find the economic intuition here, you know, as a responses uh, from producers and consumers, Let's take a look at the graphical analysis. Okay, again, it's very simple. Uh, we uh, kind of revisit the uh, three graphs we already did previously. Okay, we line them up. On your left hand side, it's a home market, and on the right hand side, it's a foreign market, right? And we said that in home, uh, the quantity demanded exceeds the quantity supplied. So we find this is a uh, import demand. Okay. And in foreign quantity supplied exceeds quantity demanded. This is export uh, supply. Okay. And when we put them together, we should be able to find the equilibrium point here um, as labeled as uh, one. Okay. The first point here, that, that's an equilibrium point. And the equilibrium price is P subscript W. Okay. And now the government in home imposes this tariff T here, uh, which drives up the uh, home's price. So we are moving from point one to point two. And as we already said that, you know, the consumers uh, decreases their quantity demanded and producers are going to increase their production. So their import demand becomes smaller okay, at the higher price. And then we find, you know, they are right here at point two, right? 
uh, in foreign we find that this tariff pushed down its price uh, so it's actually moving from point 0.1 to point 0.3 at this new price pt star we find that quantity supplied is lower quantity demanded is higher so their export supply becomes smaller okay and uh, but the quantity you know when we go down it's just going to be qt here okay for both economies in other words uh, uh, foreign uh, exports qt uh, to home okay uh, so here the tariff raises the price in home and lowers that in foreign as we already mentioned uh, once again, I'm sorry here, once again, think about that uh, question I raised uh, in the previous slide. Why, you know, here, the burden of the tariff is shared by the two economies? Is it possible that, you know, the burden just imposed in Hong, or probably, you know, you can go the opposite, just imposed on the foreign market, okay? So it's not going to be shared by... Um, the two economies okay uh, your answer could be yes or no either way please provide your justification okay all right so uh, the next topic we're going to look at is the cost and benefit of the tariff okay um, previously you know we already said that the tariff hurts consumers and benefit producers in home right we said that you know Home, produ uh, home producers will produce more because it's more profitable. Uh, home consumers will buy less because it's more expensive, right? But we do want to measure here how large or small these costs and benefits are. Okay, we want the quantitative answer instead of qualitative answer. Okay, and uh, to be able to do that, we have to rely upon. Uh, consumer and producer surplus, which I believe uh, should be introduced in your Econ 100 and um, the intermediate micro uh, classes. Okay, but here again, we're going to assume that you guys already put this behind um, you, and so we're going to briefly, you know, talk about the definition and the graphical representation of the consumer and producer surplus. We're going to do that in the next video.